Cool. So just to go over some little basics about the defrost time clock. Essentially a uh, walk-in cooler, walk-in freezer model. This would be our uh, defrost heater. This would be our solenoid. Uh, temp control. Defrost clock. So, and then I have a an appliance cable here. There is a, Home Depot appliance cable. Uh, here's my common. All I did here was a uh, made a pigtail from all these commons. So the common from the solenoid, the common from the heater, and the common and the neutral side. I have them all uh, pigtailed here. I got a little piggy tail poking out. This will be our in, and uh, one and in energize the clock. We have our jumper wire from one to two. So one, and then here's in, just the common. So go to in. Alright, so one and in should energize our defrost clock. So we'll plug in our defrost clock here. There we go. See the green LED light up. Let's check out the defrost LED lights up. Defrost LED lights up. Let's see if I got defrost. Okay, so now we're going to wire in our heater, heating element. Power is going to come down from three to energize the coil. goes down to our heater. Let's plug her in and see. Let's put it into defrost and our heater light, our heater energized. Okay, let's unplug it. Now we're gonna hook up our solenoid power is going to go through a temp control this will go to four this is where all the cooling happens it's going to go down to the coil this is the solenoid fan circuit and power goes through a Switch breaks one leg of power. Okay, dokey. And then plug it in. And start it in defrost. Nice. That works. Let's check our tip control here. Okay, there you go, simple as that. And you think you, you're missing the X? Well, I'll show you what the X is doing. Um, let's say it's in defrost, a defrost heater's on. I got a jumper wire here, I got a jumper wire. All that's happening is, you do know. So on these intermatics, the switch, the thermostat relay is just going to switch the common power 
from the heater and it's gonna switch it over to X, which is gonna terminate the power. So I'll show you. I bet you've never seen this before. I'm gonna take a jumper and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. We're gonna jump in to X and see it killed the heater. So you can see here, it's still, the time clock shows it's still in defrost, but my solenoid's energized. So that's usually a telltale sign that the X opened the, the thermostat relay switched power over as I just demonstrated.